Hey, this is John the Pool Expert. I'm going to show you a new video on the IntelliFlow. This is the IntelliFlow 2 VST variable speed pump. Uh, this is the updated version of the IntelliFlow pump. It um, is new for 2016. So here it is. Uh, let's just start out uh, by hitting the menu button. Uh, right now we are at nothing's on, it's just the power's on. So we're going to hit the menu button and let's go through our settings. So we have settings, we have speeds 1 through 8, and I'm hitting the down button to scroll through this menu. External control, features, and priming. And also we have therm mode, which is new. And uh, that's all the settings for this. We have buttons 1, 2, 3, and 4. We have the back button, the save button, we have the select button, we have the menu button, quick clean, timeout, start stop, and reset. We're going to go through all those today. Alright, first thing we're going to go to settings. Let's get back out of here. This is our main screen. So first thing you hit menu, then you hit, then you have settings. We're going to select settings. First thing you want to set is the date and time. So all you do is hit select and you get to pick uh, your date, I've already set it for the date, but you're just going to hit uh, select once again, and then the cursor will come up, right and left arrows will get you to the place where you need to adjust it, and then you just adjust it with the up and down arrows. When you're done, you hit save. I'm going to scroll down, we have the current time, and that works the same way, We're going to you can select it, adjust the time up and down and then when you're done you hit save. Let's go back. Okay, so we've set the date and time. Mini and max speeds we'll select it. The mini, the, the, the lowest speed it's set for is 450. The highest is 3450. Um, I wouldn't recommend adjusting that. It should be fine. I'm going to hit, hit back to get back to the previous screen. Okay, device. Let's just select that. This is pump address number one. This is if you have multiple pumps on a control panel, um, each device has to be numbered to, dist to distinguish. Otherwise, they'll all come on together. Alarm log. Um, anytime you have an alarm, it, it will log it. So not really anything you need to know and then that's it for the settings okay I'm going to scroll down and we're going to go to speed 1 through 8 this is really important because what you're going to find on your new IntelliFlow pump is that on speed 3 and 4 it will run for a certain amount of time and then shut off and I'll show you why that is because normally it is set for an egg timer. And what you want to do is you want to either set it for a manual or for a schedule. And the way you do that is you just highlight where it says egg timer. So if I save that, right now if I look at it, it says egg timer, I'm going to select it, I'm going to change it either to schedule or manual. Right now I'm going to change it to schedule, and then after I'm done I'm going to save it. Then I'm going to go down and I'm going to choose my speed. So I'm going to select that. Left and right arrows to move the cursor, up and down arrows to change the numbers. Once I've found the speed that I like, I'm going to hit save. And I'm going to go back down and I'm going to set the start time on my schedule, which I want it to start at 7 a.m. And, and you can just up and down arrow whatever time. Say you want it to start at 6 a.m. Just do that. You save it. Okay, down arrow will take you to the stop time. Say I want it to stop at 2 o'clock. Just select with the cursor, up and down arrow for the numbers. And then after I'm all done, I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to go back. If you hit a wrong button, it will say key error. It's not going to hurt anything. 
I'm going to go back, speed 1 through 8. Each of these speeds you can set on a timer or you can set on manual. Or you can set on the egg timer which will run for certain, however long you've set it for and then shut off. External control. That's, that's only if you're going to control from something else, which we're not going to do that. Features. You have two features. You have quick clean, you have timeout. I'm going to select that. First one's timeout. What timeout does is when you hit that button, it shuts your pump off for however long it's set for. I'm going to select it. You have three, it's set for three hours. If I want to change that, I'm going to select it. Left arrow or right arrow up and down for the numbers, say I want it to run for two hours. When I'm finished, I save it, and then I hit the back button to bring me back. So that's what the timeout button does. When you hit that, that's what that does. Quick Clean. Quick Clean is a speed. You set, set whatever speed you want. Say you want 3400, or say, say you want 3200. You're going to save it. Whatever, whatever you set that for after you're done, don't forget you have to save it. We're going to hit back. So that's what speed our quick clean will be on. And then you can set however long you want it to run for. So if I select that, I can, I can add, you know, I can make it into how many ever minutes or whatever. Hours. And then after I'm done with that, I'm going to save it. I'm going to go back. And now when I hit that button, that quick clean button, it's going to run for how long I set it for uh, at the speed that I set it for. Priming. Priming is what it does when it first starts. When the pump first starts, it's going to run at a high speed uh, for a couple, uh, few seconds, or depending on how long it's set for. So right now it's enabled. You can disable it if you don't want it to run. Right now it's set for 20 seconds. And if you want to change that, you just select it. And you can change it to 30 seconds or 10 seconds or whatever you want. Then it'll run at that speed. That's, it needs to prime up when it first starts. So it's important that you leave that unless you have it set on a water feature where you can't use it. After I'm done, I'm going to save it. I'm going to go back. Next thing we have is Therm Mode. I'm going to select that. It's enabled. You want to normally leave that enabled. What that does is it runs, if it gets down to 40 degrees, it's going to run your pool at 1000 RPMs. You can change that speed. You can change the temperature up. You can't change it down any further than that. And then we're back to settings. After you're all done, you want to hit the back button until you're back into the main screen. Once you've set everything up, say you set your schedule, what we're going to do is we're going to hit the start stop button. Now the schedule is running, so what I set the schedule for, it's going to come on tomorrow. At that time it's going to run and then shut off. This button has, this light has to be on in order for your schedule to run. That's very important and it should say running schedule. And if it's set to run at this time, the pump will actually come on. All right. Thanks for watching. Um, feel free to um, leave me a message on the YouTube page if you guys have any uh, major questions about anything. Um, I appreciate you watching. Thank you.